Uh, I would like to introduce my way of uh, finding these roots. Uh, root I and the cube root of I, fourth root I and the sixth root and I and so on. <coughs> okay, uh, my way is this. Okay, we know that for cube, second square root has two roots. Cube root have three roots in complex numbers. And the fourth root you have a four roots, and six root you have a six roots, and and so on. Now, first uh, square root i. Okay, I find a one root first. I is equal to i equal to e to the i half pi, right? Therefore, square root. Square root is equal to square root of that. So this will be equal to i e to the i fourth uh, quarter pi. Okay. So I have a one root e to the i quarter pi. Okay. This is a one root and. In the circle, complex number, right? This is this is a complex number, and uh, the quarter pi is there. Is there? And square root, you have a two roots, so therefore you divide a whole uh, whole angle, three hundred sixty degrees, into two. So the next one would be here to plus 180 degrees. So this is a quarter pi. This would be uh, 5 pi over 4, right? So this is a quarter pi. This is a pi 5 pi over 4. In other words, the other as root is i 5 pi over 4. Okay, of course you can write uh, the other way, right? This one is equal to root 2 over 2 plus root 2 over 2 pi. That is this one. And uh, this one will be negative root 2 over 2 minus root 2 i over 2. Okay? So these would be these would be two two roots, and this one that one. Now for cube root of i, cube root of i, I find the one root first. One root is a cube root is equal to e to the i half pi cube root. This is e to the i six root. So this is one root. I just need to find one root first. So this root, this root will be here. Uh, six root is there, right? Thirty degrees. So it's pi over six. Now since this is the cube root, therefore you divide the whole three hundred sixty degrees two pi into three. So e next one will be. Uh, 120 degrees away, right? So 120 degrees away, that will be here. So this will be 5 pi over 6. Well, that's right. You're, you're adding 4, six, 4 pi over 6. So this is my second root. And the third root will be plus 120 degrees again. That will be here. Okay, so my three root will be uh, e to the i pi over 6, e to the i phi pi over 6, and uh, next one will be negative i, right? Yeah. Of course, you can write this one a, a, a 
Well, that is uh, when the root 3 over 2 plus half i, right? That is this one. And uh, this one will be uh, negative root 3 over 2 and a half i. A half i. So these are three i, uh, three roots for the cube root of a i. See, this one is this, this one is that, and plus. <coughs> you see, the reason I'm gonna put them together because we you have a comparison for the each case, then uh, you know that how to find the the root for the i, you know, in general. So this one. <coughs> Fourth root, uh, i fourth root is equal to e to the i half pi fourth root, right? So this one is equal to e to the i pi over 8. This is one root. This is a one root. e to the i pi over 8. That is one root, and uh, you have uh, another three roots. Together, you have uh, four roots. Now, in a circle, you have a uh, one root, one root eighth pi. Okay, this is eighth pi, eighth pi. Now you have a uh, four roots, four roots. So you divide the whole whole angle into four, that means that each one is uh, 90 degrees. So ne next one will be there, right? There will be five pi over eight. Yes. And next one will be one. Next one will be there. Will be nine pi over eight. And the plus 90 degrees again. So this one would be uh, 13 pi over 8. So you have uh, four roots. So you have uh, e to the i, 5 pi over 8. And e to the i, 9 pi over 8. And the e to the i, 13 pi over 8. See, you have a four roots. Now, for this, you have a six roots. I just need to find a one. Then from the circle, I find the other five. See, this is, a, this is my way, okay? Now, six pi, uh, i to the six root. This is e to the i, pi over to the six, so this will be e to the i pi over twelve. That is one root. E to the i twelve root. That is one root. Okay. So in a circle, in a circle, I have a uh, one root. This is a. Uh, pi over 12. Okay. Yes, pi over 12. Then you, you have, all together you have six roots. So you divide the whole whole circle into six parts. So each one is uh, 60 degrees, right? So next one will be there. This will be 5 pi over 12. Right? Uh, Yes, you plus one third pi. And uh, next one would be what? Would be nine, nine pi over 12, right? Which is uh, three pi over four. And uh, next one would be 13 pi over 12. And next, next one would be 17 pi over 12. And next one will be uh, 21 pi over 12. So this is the power. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. 
six roots. So this is one root. Next one will be e to the i phi pi over 12. Next one will be e to the i uh, 9 pi over 12 will be 3 pi over 4, right? And the e to the i 13 pi over 12 and the e to the i 17 pi over 12 and the e to the i 20 1 pi over 12. So you have six roots, one, two, three, four, five, six. See, this is uh, my way of finding, uh, this is my way of finding these different roots. You know? And <clears throat> you, you can, see the reason I'm doing together because uh, you have a comparison you know, at the same time, so you can find the roots in general. You know? Uh, I have a, well, I have a, another video uh, to find uh, this root, fourth root to eight minus eight. Yeah, I'm preparing this uh, the video for this root, for these fourth root, you see this, then we come up uh, more or less the general way, you know, how to find a uh, uh, complex uh, in the nth root in general. Okay, and uh, you, you're you welcome to, to go to see this uh, video at the same time. Thank you for your watching.